Hi guys, welcome back to London. Just finished work for the day. I'm heading to get some dinner. Fancy something quick, fast and simple. I'm headed to Herman Z German. There's one just up the road here in Villiers Street, but I always go to that one. I'm gonna try a different one tonight over in Soho, which I've never been to before. It's actually the third time I've attempted to vlog Hermann's in German, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Hermann is a German. Sells a breakfast. And for those of you, nine Sprechens in Deutsch, sausages, German, sausages. You can take them either a roll like a hot dog, or in a box, covered in curry sauce, uh, curry first. Curry sauce, chips, bread. It's delicious. I normally get a breakfast in a bun, like a hot dog. You can get it with sauerkraut, all sorts of toppings as well. But, first time I saw Hermann's in German, I thought it was a joke. The sign's a sausage with a face on it. It looks quite phallic, I'll show you that in a little while. It was painted bright orange, it's called Hermann's in German. And when it comes to restaurants, there are a lot of bad jokes here in London. It's a tourist fueled by tourism. It's a, it's a city fueled by tourism. So, even if you're a bad restaurant, for a long time, even bad restaurants have not only survived, they thrive because they get fresh victims flown in every day. Sorry, just crossing the road, <laughs> try not to get killed. But yeah, even bad restaurants do okay because they've got fresh victims every day. But that's changing with the internet, the internet's changed all of that, especially mobile internet, because you can stand outside a restaurant, punch in the name of the restaurant on your phone, and it'll tell you exactly what it, people think of it. That's not always accurate, and not everyone has mobile internet on their phones, especially travelers, it's expensive, but that's changing. And so yeah, most restaurants have got up their game. Villiers Street here, just up ahead of me, kind of proof of that. It used to be littered with some good restaurants, some touristy restaurants, but that is changing. Most of them are pretty good now. And there's a Hermann's in German here, the one I normally go to. So yeah, when I first saw Hermann's in German, I thought it was a joke. The one here on Villiers Street, as you can see, Villiers Street is a really busy thoroughfare from Charing Cross down to Embankment Tube. I thought it was a tourist trap. But then I was reading one of the reviews that you see, the lists, best restaurants, best dishes in London. I forget what the category was, I'm not sure if it was best dish, best cheap eat, best fast food, but Hermann's in German wasn't, wasn't just on the list, it was top of the list. So then I thought, well, maybe it's not such a joke. Then, a little while later, I saw reviews in national newspapers, and both reviews were more about the writers than the restaurant. They were basically saying it's, it's below their pay grade, basically, as journalists as food critics I think below there below them as people but yeah it didn't really say great the, re the reviews I read didn't really say much about the restaurant itself other than panning it and saying it's terrible but that sparked my interest even more you've got someone saying it's the best and others saying it's the worst is the worst but this is Herman to German Billiard Street. There. I'll show you the phallic sign later. But anyway, after it sparked my interest, I tried it. 
and it was pretty good. I quite liked it. It, was, uh, it became my go-to place for some fast food on the sprint for the last train on the way back to the station. Instead of McDonald's that is at the end of this street, at the end of Villiers Street on the corner of the Strand there's a McDonald's. I think anyone who frequents Charing Cross Station and Embankment Tube will be familiar with that branch of McDonald's. Hermann's a German currently have three stores, three branches. That one back there in Villiers Street, which is my go-to one late at night because it's convenient for me. There's another one on Charlotte Street in Fitzrovia, and there's one in Soho where I'm headed to now on Old Compton Street. I've never been to this one on Old Compton Street, so I thought I'd try this one for the for this vlog. As I was saying earlier, I've attempted to vlog Hermann's a German. This is the third time. The other two times I did it on the way home from filming other things here in the centre of town. I've got the date of the footage because I, I looked at it earlier because I, after the end of this vlog, I'm going to try and edit it into something watchable. But it was about, I think it was the 20th of December, and I filmed. That was either the first night or the second night because I filmed one night, I got a curry burst and I was quite new to vlogging back then and the footage was about two minutes long at the end of it. I filmed the phallic sign, I filmed the curry burst and then I filmed an outro and that was it. It wasn't, it wasn't a vlog so I never uploaded it. But I went back the following evening, out of coincidence, I was filming something else, I went back and got my usual brat burst. But again, I was in got the brat first. I had about two minutes footage and the plan was to smash them together into one vlog but it looked like I'd eaten two meals in one evening by the time I was ready in January there's some Christmas decorations in the in the window it just I didn't upload it but I think it'd be interesting to go and get a 2016 Hermann's in German tonight and then at the end of this I'll show you the edit of the 2014 Christmas Hermans in German. But yet, I think the, I had the same issue as the people writing about Hermans in German. I think the reason they wrote about themselves is because it's done with German efficiency. There's a quite a straightforward menu. The choices are made very clear. You go in, make your choices, and you're in and out. And uh, I don't suppose they had a lot to write about. I didn't have a lot to film. So that's why I'm heading to the different branch tonight to see if that's any more interesting. Okay, we've got all the condiments here, ketchup, mustard, mayo and paper towels for wiping our hands on. All the seats upstairs were taken, I've ordered food upstairs, there's plenty of extra space down here in the basement. I've ordered the Uber Ding, whatever that means. Tonight I've gone for the Uber Ding. Apparently they actually import their sausages from the Black Forest in Germany. So Hermann Z German is in fact real German food. Although having said that, I don't think all the toppings and combinations are traditional German food. I've been to Germany a few times, I've had breakfast, it didn't look like this. Okay, let's dig in. Washing it down with a Fritz Cola.
Okay, Hermann's the Germans say about their sausages. Our sausages are made in the Black Forest in Germany. They are made by a butcher called Fritz. And Fritz has been making sausages since we were children, so they are very good. Our sausages are gluten-free, lactose-free and parboiled so you can eat them straight away. You can poach, fry or grill them. We would give you precise instructions on how hot the water should be and the exact size of the pan, but we don't want to be too German about it. So that was Herman. See German. Delicious. Delicious food. Fast, efficient, friendly service. And good value for money. I got one of the most expensive dishes on the menu, 6.95. We're super central London. Eating 6.95, couple of quid for a drink. A bargain for where we are. So that was Herman's the German 2015. Let's go back in time and take a look at my Hermansy German trip, December 2014. Let's go. Hi guys, tonight I'm at Hermansy German. Okay, welcome back to December 2014. Now this was shot on my old camera, the Canon S120. It's not quite so good in the dark as my current vlogging camera, the Canon G7X. But this is the same street we're walking down at the start of this vlog. Cafe Rouge on the left there has gone. It's now a Five Guys burger. Burger joint, really good burgers. But Hermann the German remains. Back at the end of 2014, I'd really only just got going making vlogs. I hadn't made that many back then. So I didn't really have a great understanding of what I was doing. You learn as you go doing this there's no instruction manual or um, training course so I've got quite a few good shots of the rather phallic looking sign which is uh, obviously a sausage with a, a face so this is the Hermann the German curry first or one version of it this is with bread, it usually comes with chips. It's the Hermann's German Bratwurst sliced up and in curry sauce. The curry sauce gives you the flavour of curry. It's not super spicy or hot. It's basically like British chip shop curry sauce. It's really good. And I don't think sauerkraut's normally served with the German version, but it's a great addition. The only other place I've had curry versed here is at the Christmas markets, the German Christmas markets, and I have to say Hermansy Germans is much better. This is the Hermann the German Bratwurst, and on top of this I've got some dried onions and a little bit of sauerkraut, tomato ketchup and mustard. So yeah the works. Again, really good. Late in the evening, after a few drinks on the way to the station, the Bratwurst is the one I like to go for and they serve it up super fast, it really is fast food and it's delicious and pretty filling. For some reason I decided to chomp the end off and film it with the uh, phallic sign again, but like I said, I was new to this at the time. Okay, that's all the footage I captured in 2014, so back to the future, back to 2016. It's also amusing that Hermansy German have opened a sausage shop here on Old Compton Street, 
because most of the pubs and bars, the many pubs and bars on this street are, how can I say this, frequented by guys who love sausage and ladies that don't. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and a look at, back at the past. And if you did, please hit the, no, actually, I think I'll let my 2014 self do the outro because I'm over a year younger, fresher face, better looking. So back to the 2014 me. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up like button. And if you'd like to be one of the first to see my new films, the subscribe button. Toodles.